And now with Leo, I have a child to raise. I get to parent him from the beginning. Your mother's just trying to make sure that I'm around to do yeah, that. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Um, I forgot it was his birthday. Can you please give him a kiss for me? Of course I will. Thank you. Yeah, we're supposed to go smash cake later. Oh, something normal. I thought so. So we good? Yeah, we're fine. Good. And what about you and, uh, and Jason? Excuse me, what about me and Jason? Well, you haven't told me what's going on since you guys got back together. <laughs> yeah, well, that... I haven't told you for a reason. You know, Sam, you're still my daughter. And I love you. I love Danny. Am I not allowed to ask what's going on in your life? Jason and I are exactly where we're supposed to be. We're back together again, and nothing's going to tear us apart. Oh, could you stand there and tell me that if this were Sam, you wouldn't do everything you could to find her? Yes, Sabrina was stupid. She ran off with her child's father. She made herself either an accessory or she made herself a hostage. Either way, she has a child to care for and no one to help her. I have to do something. Michael, Carlos isn't going to tell you where Sabrina is. He's using her as leverage and he's leaving you twisted in the wind, man. He hates you because you're your father's son and he hates Sonny. So why don't you go back inside, you look him in the eye, and you tell him to go to hell. And then we're gonna get the hell out of here, okay? I told the play- I appreciate you coming down here, caring enough to intervene, and I heard what you said. You just, you don't have to worry about me. Uh, Michael, I don't have a choice but to worry about you because I care about you. And I don't want to hear about you getting hurt. I know what I'm doing. Okay, look, I said my piece. You're a smart man. I'm sure you're gonna make the right decision. So, if you need anything... I know where to find you. All right, good luck. Amigo. You know, I think we need a vacation. <laughs> Something a little bit more comfortable than the barn. Yeah. Not that I'm complaining, because I really didn't enjoy that. Okay, where do you want to go? Um... The ocean. The ocean? Any ocean? We got one picked out? Uh, well, well, no, I mean, you, you can pick. I, I used to I used to love Hawaii. Used to? You don't anymore? Who doesn't love Hawaii? I mean, there, there were a few bad things that happened there. Ah, well, yeah. hey, look, the place to stop. If you'd like to tell me about these things, I can sit here on this bench while you pontificate. You know, normally I would take you up on that, and I would tell you all about everything that never happened in Hawaii, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want talk about anything sad. I just want to think about us going on vacation and being on a beach together. You, me, and Danny experiencing something new. That sounds very cool. Does Danny like the beach? Does he like the beach? Yes. <laughs> he loves, he loves the beach. He loves the water. I had him in swimming classes when he was really young. I don't think I can remember a time when he didn't like water. So yes, to answer your question, he absolutely loves the beach. Well, perfect. So where should we take our future little Olympians? Should we take them to like one of those big resorts where, you know, they have the big slides? No, stop. Yeah, you're kidding, right? Of course I'm kidding. I was just checking because, you know, you look like you like slides. No. No, I was thinking maybe a little place, like a cottage. And the beach is outside. We can tuck Danny in at night and you know, look at the stars and snuggle. You want know, the stars and snow? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, then let's do it. Okay. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. She stay here for a minute. Hey, you know what? I think I left my phone in the car. Be right back. Sit tight. <laughs> 